It's one of my favourite sentences to say. The European Cup is back at Anfield tonight. Uh, we should be defending our European crown, but we're not. Uh, instead, PSG have still got to come with their beautiful Air Jordan range to uh, the biggest cauldron, the biggest fortress in European football, Anfield, where we are at the moment absolutely unplayable. And yeah, it's uh, one o'clock in the afternoon here in London right now. About to make the journey out to Liverpool with Oliver Bond. Let's do this. Let's get into these. Uh, at Crew train station, the Great Smith, and yeah, uh, lots of PSG fans here, lots of Liverpool fans here, getting excited. PSG fans back in town are making an absolute racket. I'm jealous that they're on a way day and we're not. But um, yeah, buzz it. So no Roberto Firmino, disappointing obviously, um, not had the full strength front three, but Daniel Sturridge comes in, um, some people maybe prefer Shaqiri there, We've got Daniel Sturridge up front, Henderson in for Keita, again upset a few people, but it is what it is. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just having a brief look through Twitter, people are actually complaining about the team. It's just honestly so pathetic. Um, people moaning about Jordan Henderson and Firmino, or Firmino being out, Cater being out. People need to get a grip, to be honest with you. Um, Klopp's literally won every single game this season, and he knows what he's doing. So, you know, we may well go and lose it tonight, but I mean, complaining about team selection at this point in the season is ridiculous. People that are complaining about Jordan Henderson playing right now honestly need to get a life. It's just honestly so frustrating. But yeah, let's see how we get on it.
a special, special night, wasn't it? Back at the hotel now. Um, just trying to get my light in it to no avail. Um, yeah, so back after that incredible night at Anfield, European nights are back, and God, we've missed them. Um, go 2 0 up. First half, we're terrific. You know, it's PSG for the first sort of five minutes. Um, they settle in quite quickly, I thought, and I was thinking we're in for a real tough night here. Um, I think Neymar skips past like three or four players. Um, he was looking the business, uh, but then we, we kind of weathered that storm. It was only a brief storm. Milner absolutely clatters uh, Neymar. Milner was terrific all night, by the way. Um, we get the goal through uh, Sturridge, who played well, played very well, deserves a lot of credit for his performance tonight. Milner scores a second from the spot. Uh, Munio with a lovely finish to make it 2-1. And we're, we're quite comfortable at 2-1. We really are comfortable. Um, I honestly never thought they'd equalise. I was really surprised when it came. And unfortunately, it does come from a most Salah mistake, and a, a lot of you are highlighting that. I think the comments on my Instagram post, or kind of to my tweets or whatever, kind of saying, I'm sure you guys will say that you're kind of worried about Mo Salah. Um, he still not, he's obviously not scoring the goals that he was scoring. He's obviously not playing as well as he was. I thought he played well tonight. Um, with the ball, I thought he was he was pretty good. He was he was dangerous. He was direct going forward and um, held the ball up quite well on the on the, uh, on the right hand side. But he he, he gives away the, the equaliser. He really does. He, he goes for an infield pass, um, passes it into a dangerous area. There's lots of PSG bodies in there, uh, and then Bap scores a, a well taken goal, celebrates in front of the cop. It's a great moment for him. And it looks like we're gonna, um, you know just sort of peter out to a 2-2 draw. But then Bobby Firmino is the man. Bobby Firmino um, is finding his goal-scoring boots, which is great, um, gets the winner, and it, the, the, the place erupts. And um, oh, honestly, just can't stop smiling. It's, it's been a one hour and 10 minute walk back from Anfield to the docks where we are now. Um, I, I, we walked because um, it takes so long to get a cab, and we, we want to get back early because we're getting a train at 6 a.m. tomorrow, so no, no going out tonight. Um, but yeah, we were tremendous to a man tonight. Trying to pick a man of the match out of that 11 is so difficult. Um, you know, uh, uh, I thought I was definitely going to give it to Milner at half time because, you know, the first half he was absolutely tremendous, so like probably a standout player. Vinaldum on about the hour mark, I thought I'm going to give it to him. At one point, I thought Trent was going to get it, but then I thought Robertson, um, and I probably have. Ended up with Robertson. Henderson deserves a shout as well, especially a man who gets criticised so often. Um, I thought he was almost faultless tonight. I mean, a real 9 out of 10 performance from him. But Robertson just... He just has those moments that you always remember. Um, those, those big tackles, those big lung-busting runs. Um, so he, again, brilliant. Um, and nobody, put, nobody was bad, apart from, like I say, Salah wasn't quite himself. But, you know, Joe Gomez just looks so composed. He was tremendous. Mane wasn't great, I suppose. You know, he, he, he was he was he was very good. He wasn't world class, you know. Um, but everyone was at least uh, a seven. Most were above an eight, and then about four or five were above a nine. So we've just beaten PSG. We've just beaten one of Europe's elite teams. Um, and you know, a draw would have been a devastating result because you know. Once the fixtures continue to pile up in sort of November, December time, we want to be through this group by then, you know? I know we've got Napoli next, that's a tough one. I mean, if we can win that, then we've got the two Belgrade games, I believe. Um, or something like that. I'm not sure how it goes, but you know, we've we, we got, the, we got uh, another couple of fixtures. If we can be through by the time those last two games come up, then we can rest players. And then we've got United at home after one of them. So, yeah, I mean, if we can get to the point where we can rest players in the last last one or last two group games, are magnificent. And this win over PSG, the fact that Napoli couldn't beat Belgrade either, is huge for that. So, Robertson's our man of the match. It was a tremendous, memorable night at Anfield. Um, can't wait for Saturday now. Bring that on. Uh, leave a comment with your man of the match, your thoughts on the game, anything you like. Um, all positivity, please. Let's not talk about Salah or whatever. Um, but, you know, say what you want to say. Um, follow me on Instagram if you're not already, and up the reds, see you next time.